Yo, what's going on? This is Al, realbeatsales.com. If you need any help marketing your beats, learning how to get traffic to your website, anything of that nature, go over to the website, download the free ebook, read all the blog posts, all the stuff that I put up there, the wonderful things. Get on the mailing list so you can get this great information. Now, in today's video, I got an email from... Uh, Maybe I'd say about ten music producers, and they was asking me to explain more on why ninety nine cent beats is really not a good way to go, right? And this is the best way I could uh, explain it, where you can understand why you are hurting yourself by selling your beats for so such a cheap price. I know you're thinking ninety nine cents. It's more affordable and more people will come flocking to it, right? Which would make sense, but here's what you do it. Once you put your beats at 99 cents, you lose all negotiation power. 99 cents is over. You can't go no higher than 99 cents. Because once you start presenting your beats at $20, a hundred dollars and then you say alright exclusive rights I'm gonna charge you eight hundred then I'm like come on man you started selling beats at 99 cent what I look like giving you eight hundred dollars for a beat you gotta be kidding me this is why you gotta start high and chop it down alright you gotta leave headroom there man you, and you, you it's no way as a business excuse me as a business you can't survive selling beats is 99 cent how are you marketing? Right? Because you got to pay for some type of marketing to get people to your website. Um, 99 cent is, is not, it's not good because there's a stigma with 99 cent. Let's say, for instance, you have a general dollar store, right? And the general dollar store has things in the store for 99 cent. Then you have Target. Here's how it goes. The 99 cent store is convenient when you don't have, um, it's either convenient when if it's closer than the Target store to get to. So you say, let me go to the 99 cent store right quick to get a certain item. But when it comes to quality, the 99 cent store is not the first thought when they get money in their hands. They think it quality Target. Let me go to Target to get maybe dish towels. You may say a 99 cent store do have dish towels right? But the quality may not it's just enough to get by right? But when they want it done the right way they go to Target to get the better dish towel when they have the money right? Now with the 99 cent producer um, I'll get my money, right? I'll have my two, three hundred dollars. I'm not thinking about a 99 cent producer at that point because it's like, okay, now I have the money. I could go after the quality producers. Just because they have higher prices, this is how we think. Just because they have higher prices, we think automatically quality. It might not even be quality, but it's just that the price is higher and you feel like you're getting more for your money. Because you paid 300 so you feel, I know I'm going to make this banger because I paid $300 for this beat. Right? That's why you 99 cent is not a, the way to come in. Competing on price is the number one way to kill your business. You don't compete on price. You compete on quality, right, and service. Out perform your competition by creating better that's how you win at this create better customer service create better marketing campaigns create better promotion stop with just uh, sign up to my mailing list and get two free beats like it's, it's the, the artists are immune to this now they're just like oh Everywhere I go, there's free beats, free beat here, free beat there. And then it's a stigma put on uh, the producer because now they're looking at, oh, they got that free beat guy. I'm not messing with him. 
Let me go over to the Dirty Needle Beats, man. They got beats for $900. And I know I'm going to get quality from Dirty Needle Beats. I know I'm going to get cop top um, customer service from Dirty Needle Beats. Why would I go to a Little Jimmy Beats that got 700 beats on his site at 99 cents? Where as an artist, I know maybe millions of people already rhyme to these beats. Why would I want them? Now, if you, you got a price range from 37 to 997 you know a lot of artists are cheap. So it's a chance to, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy this beat for $77. Because it's a chance nobody else bought it because they feel like it's too expensive. Alright? So you got to really will it in. And then, like I said, you have to have marketing dollars. You don't have marketing. 80% of your money that you earn goes back in the market. It has to go back in the market because you got to keep those leads generating. And you can't do it with 99 cents. That's why I said leave that 99 cent broke mentality alone. Right? And if it's a hobby for you, don't even sell your beats. Just put them on SoundCloud and just let people view them and comment and, and um, you know, and share and like your stuff. But if you are a business, you are in the business of making money. Businesses make money. You cannot be a beat business if you are not making money by giving away beats for 99 cents. They might as well be free because you're not making 99 cents. You're making 60 cents off of each sale. Come on value you have to value your product if you don't value your product wash your day all right this al i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and make sure you go over to um realbeatsales.com any of you music producers that's ready to take that leap and you really want to learn how this marketing game work go over to the site and sign up for real beat sales university um, watch the video, read all the information, and see if this is the way you want to go, alright?